Hey, welcome back to GT Canada. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix the noisy drive issue on your PlayStation 5. If you are not sure if that's what you're experiencing, check out the video that I captured of this drive spinning up on boot up. And I also found some users on YouTube that are experiencing similar problems. Now, not everybody is experiencing this problem, which means that it, it's it's not all PlayStations. It's not just a noisy drive. Mine is not as loud as some others, but it is loud enough that it's concerning. So I'm gonna show you exactly the fix that Sony recommends you to do when you're experiencing this problem. Now to do this fix, you must have your PlayStation turned off and disconnected like I have right here. You also want to make sure that you have a game inside the drive still. So you need to power it down with a game inside the drive for this to work. Once you've done all those things, you've got it out in a clean, dry area, you want to flip it over so that the drive is facing you. So here it is, the drive is right here over on this side. You can remove the stand, set it off to the side, and what you're gonna do is just lift this corner of the plastic up and push the whole white plastic piece that way. So you just lift that corner and pop, just like that, and then that pops off. Now I've had mine off once already, so that makes it easier to do. The first time you might have to really push on it to get it to go, but if it's gone once, it'll do it pretty easy after that. Now what we're looking for underneath here is this little plastic cover. So there's four drive screws that hold the drive on, and then there's this little cover right here, and that's hiding a little screw under there. So I'm gonna just pop that off. Now it's just a little sticker, so you can actually just peel like this. And then get it, get enough of it that you can peel it all the way off. Some people thought that it was a, an actual plastic cover. It is kind of thicker than a sticker, but that's all it is. Now you'll notice that this has a tiny little Phillips head screw. I'm gonna try and face this towards you guys so you can see what's happening here. Now I have a small game screwdriver which I use for my Nintendos to uh, open the carts and stuff, but it does have a small Phillips screwdriver. And all you wanna do is stick the screwdriver in this, in this black hole here and turn it clockwise. So for you guys, that's this way. That's the way a clock turns if you're looking at a real clock. When you're looking down on it, it's gonna be like this. I don't know if you can see, down like this. And all we're gonna do is turn it until we see the game start to come out. So we don't need to go a lot, we just need the game to pop out. I can hear it disconnecting the game. And there. So you can see the edge of the game has popped out here enough, and once it comes out enough, you just wanna slide the game all the way out. All the way out, just like that and then it's fixed. So now you pop the sticker back on. Now these instructions are on Sony's website, so they do not void your warranty if you do this. If that sticker's messed up, there's no warranty void. You put your cover back on, pop it till it snaps, put your base back on, and that's it. This has been fixed. Now what you wanna do is go to your PlayStation, to your connectors and cables, plug it all back in, and load your game in and it should be noticeably quieter. The drive is still loud to start with, but it shouldn't be as loud as it was before. So mine sounded like it was trying to eat my disc, which was concerning. I don't wanna break my disc. I definitely needed to do this fix. Give it a try, see if it fixes yours. It shouldn't break anything. Really all you're doing is engaging the inject mechanism and trying to make it kind of get caught in a different point. Because I think Sony realized that some of them were just adjusted a little bit too tight. 
this is all you're doing, that should fix it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos over here. We got a lot of great content for you to see. Make sure you subscribe to the channel below, but until next time, have a great day.